Good morning here, guys. Uh, Anthony Lee with the Tackle Shack Texas, located in Cypress, Texas. A soft opening this month, grand opening next month. Well, it'll be your headquarters for all your bass fishing needs. Make sure you guys go ahead and give us a little like and a follow on our Instagram and Facebook page, but we look forward to meeting each and every single one of you. What we're gonna talk about here is scupper plugs. I've been seeing all these posts about people talking about scupper plugs and their natives taking on water, what have you. Um, and uh, I, I posted up something on the page and Earl Roan sent me a message saying, Anthony, this is how you can make scupper plugs that are self-draining for your Titan X. So what I'm using here is the scupper plug that comes with your native Titan X. And then Old Town has these scupper plugs. These are the short scupper valves. It's a two pack. Uh, they don't cost that much. Um, but from what I've seen out there, some scupper plugs are going to cost you anywhere from $40 to $90 a set. Well, we can make this for under 100 bucks. All right, so these you can actually get. They're the Old Town Short Scupper Plugs. Uh, Two-pack, cost you $12.99. You use your original scupper plug that came with your kayak. All we have to do here is take these. I decided to use six just in the cockpit area. Um, first things first is you're going to uh, untie the string or cut the string off because you're not going to need it anymore. Right, and that leaves just the scupper plug alone. Now, you're gonna notice at the bottom of the scupper plug, there is a hole, just a hole in the middle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our drill and you can make the hole as big or as small as you want it to be. Um, so you can use that as your pilot. You're gonna stick this in there like so. You're gonna drill into it. Once you drill into it, you wanna make sure that you do not drill into this handle. This is what you're gonna use to pull your scupper plugs out. So I made my first hole, right? And then I'm gonna make a bigger hole in there because I personally, I wanna have the, I wanna make the biggest opening possible to be able to do this. All right, so what you can see here is that I have made a hole in the middle. All right, I hope that focuses. So that the water can start draining through here when it goes in. So next thing is there's gonna be debris in there. Make sure you get it out. It'll prevent it from clogging your scupper plug. So we'll go ahead and knock that real quick. Maybe blow it out if you have. Um, if you want to, you can clean up the inside with a razor blade, something like that. The hole that was made was actually pretty good. All right, so there we go. We have a cleaner hole. You can see at the top, the hole's pretty clean. And all you have to do now is you take your old town, a uh, short scupper plug, and you're gonna jam it inside this hole. Make sure that the one-way valve is towards the bottom and you have the rope removed. And just like that, as we push that in, it does a complete seal because it has an O-ring. So now that the water can flow in here and it still drains out, we're still utilizing our existing native scupper plug. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Follow along for updates on how our shop's going. It will be Houston's headquarters for all things bass fishing. All right, guys, have a great day. Enjoy the week and uh, tight lines to y'all.